Welcome to day two of Cybos 2021. And let's start the day with a quick look at some of the highlights from yesterday. The opening keynote was given by Noel Quinn, the group chief executive of HSBC, who reflected on how the sector has coped with the turbulence of the past 18 months. We all learned a massive lesson last year, and that is in the face of adversity, you can get things done that sometimes you think you can't get done in normal market circumstances. And that's what we all did. It's a different kind of norm. I think it's opened everyone's eyes as to the art of the possible. I think customers who were maybe hesitant on digital execution before are now less hesitant. Regulators that were hesitant to approve digital applications are now less hesitant. So I think the future will and actually should be different than the past pre-COVID. SWIFT's chairman of the board, Yawa Shah, and the CEO, Javier Perez Tasso, gave us their perspective on the past 12 months, the challenges faced by the industry, and SWIFT's role in addressing them. There is tremendous demand in the marketplace for what we do across payments and securities processing. The world changed in many ways because of COVID. And in our industry, one of the lasting impacts is a quantum shift to digital. SWIFT is committed to enabling a bank-centric ecosystem in cross-border account-to-account transaction management, providing best-in-class back-end infrastructure so you, all of you, can provide best-in-class services to your customers. As a global neutral cooperative, SWIFT serves all communities from the largest global transaction banks to the small and mid-sized institutions that represent so many of our members. That focus on the broad community is core to what we are. We're going to power an even more inclusive global economy that works faster, smarter and better for businesses of all sizes and the people and economies they serve. From next year, the landscape will be very different and today's problems will be becoming a thing of the past. Right now, I know we're asking a lot from you. Adopting APIs and new services and upgrading your back office infrastructures to new standards. But this is not just a tick-the-box exercise. This is a join-up vision with many different components, and the whole is going to be greater than the sum of its parts. But we cannot do this alone. We count on you to adopt these innovations, and we're here to support you every step of the way. We're transforming the foundations for the whole industry for decades to come. The payments landscape is changing at a record pace and the challenge of frictionless instant cross-border payments was the subject of the first big issue debate. The mobile trend, digital trend is here to stay. So we've adopted what we call uh, a mobile first mindset. So it's not mobile, it's mobile first, but not mobile only. We still see a million or so visits a day to our branch network. Uh, and so it's really important for us to start things with, with mobile and digital and then have that experience translate across our channels. We really have a fluent omni-channel strategy. So there's a contact center, a branch, uh, a financial advisor's office, or our digital properties. And so we're spending a lot of time and energy synchronizing those experiences and focusing our efforts there. Later today, we'll be asking what should a 21st century central bank look like in one of our big issue debates. And we will have five views from the top today, including Jane Fraser, CEO of Citi. MUFG's president and group CEO, Hironoi Kamazawa, CLS chairman Ken Harvey, Societe General CEO Frederick Udea, and RBC president David McKay. And there'll be sessions talking sustainability, climate change, machine learning and artificial intelligence, risk management and cross-border payments. And there'll be a networking opportunity for the women of Cybos. So, lots to learn, lots to do and lots to enjoy. Have a great day too at Cybos 2021.